been streaming here against Steve Salucci. He's playing dark, I'm playing light. I'm playing the profit objective. He's playing Haas CRV. I'm assuming fairly similar to his MPC build, if not identical. So this will be an interesting match. I'm not exactly sure what the best way to approach this match. First thing I need to do is read the text on the card exposure. Uh, exterior marker sets. Okay. So if he has a docking bay, I can go to that. I think he does not have a docking bay. I haven't seen him play it. He does have Decree V. Alright, so. I don't know exactly. Yeah. Maybe this profit deck is not as good as I think because I have no idea how I'm going to win this match. He's got the Walker Garrisons. I need to fight him at Hoth, but if I do, my guys just die. Right? I have to fight him at Hoth. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what the best option here is. So I have Nabrin. I have under attack. So I could Nabrin under attack. Of course, I don't have under attack right now, but I mean, I have it in my deck. Hmm. But exposure. So maybe I need to just have like one guy at a time contesting Hoth. Yeah, actually, that seems pretty good. If I make exposure be one for one, but I have a guy that's beast enough that he has to burn the exposure to kill it. So I set up on Tatooine first. Hmm, yeah. I'm not so sure I'm crazy about this AJR on the deck list, by the way. That might be wrong. Okay, yeah, like Mace or Luke. So I have Smokescreen, I have Under Attack. Those are both very good against him. I set up my own damage. I think he probably runs both Decrees, though. So my damage is, he's going to really cut into my damage. This is a puzzle of a match for sure. So he starts with an Imperial Walker. So actually maybe I can beat that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does R2 he IL nineteen did not, but I believe R2 D2 does. Look him up because I was just actually thinking that R2D2. No, he needs a scout blink. Ah, that's a good question. Let's ask first rules topic post NPC.
Yeah, because I was actually just thinking, let's see, if can I ask one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really actually can't this turn go for an RTD to B, but maybe next turn if he leaves it there. The scomp links are internal. Like there's not a USB port. Interesting question. Because I probably would do it next turn. Of course, it's quite vulnerable to trample. But I probably grab trample here in this match. I think I grab trample. Let's see if anyone's responded to RTD2. No. That's. Quick one. So Cam says no. Let's just assume that. stream now? I wonder if people have been trying to tell me on the stream. So there's like the chat on the right right here, right? I should really just mute my computer. Wait, I think that was, that's my microphone. These are the speakers. All right, so let's mute those. Anyone watching? How can I tell? Oh, good. We found the answer. Wait. It says it's only present to characters aboard that vehicle, although it is still scomplink at that location. What does R2D2 say? While present with? While present with. So I wonder if it was if at a location with a scomplink. Yeah. So he's not present with the scomp link, but he would be at the location with the scomp link, or at a location that has a scomp link. I don't know if he'd be with the scomp link. Huh. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So my turn. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start by sinking. I did not know that. Huh. 
Huh. So agree means... Wow, I did not know. Okay, concur is different from agree. I've been using them interchangeably. Alright, so let's see. Let's go ahead and seeking audience first. No Twix pullers is kind of annoying. Alright, let's see. So there's the JCC. So got the farm, got 3PO. Three Wises, Naboo, two Speaks. Alright, so everything is in reserve. I can't get one with Leia. That's definitely not ideal. Let's see, what about my Luke's? I've activated three Luke's, so I can certainly get one with Leia if I want. What else? Ben Kenobi's, both in reserve. Under attack. In reserve. Smokescreen. Smoke screens in force. Wait, so these two, that's what I want to pull. Okay. So I think I want to play Leia here. And I wondered, maybe do I want to put someone at his blockade bridge? I could put R2-D2 there and make that a battleground. No, I think I can't damage race him. I think I need to interact on Hoth. Smokescreen helps with that. Especially because I've got Mace. What about Mace Windu's lightsaber is in reserve right now? Okay, all right, let's do these two. Let's put 3PO inside so it doesn't get trampled. And let's see. Send back Luke's lightsaber? No, I can do that next turn. That's probably better. Send back AJR. AJR seems like the best card to send back. Well, Obi Wan's journal is going to be pretty useless in this match, right? It is Destiny 2. Yeah, let's send back the journal. Crash Light Memorial. Did I play that right now? Vehicle, droid, weapon, or device. I think I can play that in this match. It does do anything for me to play right now. I mean, he's not going to kill this Drupio, right? What if he has Luxor droids? I don't think he does, but you never know. Alright, let's go ahead and play Leia. Search my use pile. Let's see, so two Lukes are still in my force. Here's a smoke screen. I think I want the smoke screen most out of all these cars. So let's take that. Draw and pick up Luke. There we are. The last card of my force is also Luke, so I will not draw it. Or maybe I should draw it just to put it back with 3PO. Yeah, actually, that's, no, I can put Luke's lightsaber back, but I, will I play Luke next turn? No, I'd rather have the Force. Alright, so I lose one Force, so you may start your landing. Um, let's just lose from Reserve? Yeah. Losing from Reserve, Disarmed. Okay, Disarmed does nothing here. Yeah, I'll wait until the end of the turn to figure out what to... Right, he searches for a pottery serum. So, if you, if Luke with Smokescreen is going to be good enough, I think I play Luke, I put Luke's Saber back and play the Luke next turn. Hmm, I don't know. And the other question is, do I flip right now? If this had been Leia Organa V... What could I have done? Because Leia Organa V is also a consideration here. It would probably be better in this match. There's a lot of good 
potential layers to play in this deck. So, layer rebel princess is obviously great in the best layer, but you can't pull it with seeking audience. Princess layer is pretty great as a destiny with Vader. That's very good against hunt down. Can move his react to the same side as Imperial. That's all right. Um, Leia Organa V can add a Destiny Power Attrition with the leader. There's a lot of good dark side leaders. Decks like Entanglements. Uh, Boosh. Undercover Spy or just a spy anywhere, but she's pretty expensive. Uh, I think those are the main four options. But those are four equally valid Leia's in this deck. I'm going with Princess for the Hunt Down match. But I don't know. So any, yeah, so nobody said anything on you. Okay. Alright, he's got Hoth. That's fine with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I don't have enough force to play Lando and something else. Lando's really expensive when he's on a Tatooine. Has the sunstone already? Okay. So I think that means he wants to leave the Imperial Walker alone and have a Destiny of Power each to even things out. Uh, I don't know if that's correct because probably my Destiny is going to be better than his in the deck. All right. So let's see. I think let's see. I want a three PO. But when am I going to three PO? It's 3PO AJR. I don't think I want to play Luke this coming turn. Unless I'd rather neighbor Luke next turn. That seems pretty good. Yeah, let's... Hmm. Let's see, if I neighbor Luke, I'd want to under attack in the same turn, I think. I don't know if I'm at the point where I can track to under attack right now. My deck's probably too big, and I'm going to be shuffling this coming turn anyway. Hmm. Mace is better with smokescreen. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and 3 build Luke's lightsaber. Get Mace's lightsaber, okay. And activate him. This also lets me get the deploy bonus on Luke, which is kind of nice. Let's see, is this good in this? Um match not really right so I can 3p out of this and this lets me get my Luke uh, nice okay so let's see the only thing I would be seeking audience here for would be Archer D2 because Lando is in hand or I could seeking for Chewie which actually isn't terrible But let's let's get Luke out first. Let's 
see what's in reserve. Unfortunately, the Jedi Council Chamber is no longer in reserve. Neither is Chewie, so... Chewie will have to come later. Or what under attack? How good is my destiny for under attack? Let's say he has Blizzard 2. I need a six, right? Yeah, I don't I need to track that. So under attack I need to save until I can track him. Track for it. So this is Luke's lightsaber. Should I play Lando now? I think I should. So under attack and what else do I want? Kinda want dodge. Don't really need dodge, I guess. Wisa? Yeah, I think I want Wisa out of this. I should have checked to see if Boss Master Ambers was in reserve. I think it was. Yeah, there was a zero. So let's get the Wisa here. The other cards aren't actually very good in this match. And I didn't flip yet because I'll be retrieving, I guess, two force. And I would only be doing one damage, maybe two, if I had paid three to drain. And let's see. I want to put Lando out. The question is to the farm or Jabba's palace. I think to the farm. Yeah, to the farm. No, because... Let's see. If I play him to the farm, and he attacks the farm, he'll have to... Or if he goes here, either way, he reduces, with decree, my profit damage to one. So I might as well play him here. Just make myself a little bit less vulnerable to attacks, if that's what he wants to do. There's the under attack, which I'm going to. So I should probably save the AJR in my hand for an under attack. And maybe I should draw this Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Let's play this. Worst case scenario, it goes one for one, and maybe I can retrieve it if he cancels it. So. And yeah, is there an interrupt I want to grab yet? No. So let's draw the Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. I think I almost certainly flipped this coming turn, which means I won't be able to pull Chewy. And not the worst thing. Not that bad. Not a bad thing. So I think I don't let him, uh, I don't pull Battle Plan here. 
make him do it. Because I'm going to be retrieving all these cards anyways. Anyway. Activate 12 next turn, which isn't a ton. This deck might need more activation, I'm not sure. gets better once I get the JCC out, which I will have next turn. Darth Vader, okay. Although actually under attacking on the Imperial Walker, ooh, it's armor six. I thought it was armor lower, so I'd need a four or better. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. It might just be better to play Mace and attack. Maybe save the under attack for, yeah, because I want to save the under attack for something that I can't kill by conventional means, like Veers. This move phase. I'll wait until this draw phase to three. No, there's no. Um, let's just do go now. Buy a can. Okay, that's that's pretty good here. Activate 12. This barrier could be pretty bad for me here. Uh, hold on. Wait, maybe I want to 3PO first? Yeah, I want to 3PO first. Let's get rid of the Luke here. Okay, if I had Leia's Blast Rifle, this would be good for me, but it's not. Um, so... Free Han, flip my objective, retrieve. So the 7 is the third to bottom card of my reserve deck coming up. Let's go ahead and cause one profit damage. Turn for two at the Jump's Palace. Is it even worth playing Mace's Saber? Yes, yes it is. Wait, is it? Yeah, because in case we moves in front again, I might want to under attack. Or if we play somebody outside, I want to swing. Or if he doesn't play anyone, I want to drain. Of course, it's worse against exposure because I don't believe I can crash that memorial in an auto card situation. Let's see, look at exposure again. What is exposure? Oops. Those characters are lost. Okay. So, yeah, it should. 
So exposure should work. Alright, let's see. There, so Crash Light Memorial should still work, so I might as well pull the saber. Oops. should know that he has sense, so I should probably pull the sense shield before playing speak now. He does have barrier. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I feel like he's either going to exposure me or Veers. Either way, I should probably draw some cards, get some more threats. So it's 30 cards to my 7. That's quite unfortunate. Actually, maybe what I should have done... Yeah, I should have waited to 3 feet out so I could put this 7 on top and it would be only 16 away. Yeah, that was an enormous error on my part. Run the run is pretty good here, I think. I'm not sure. Let's draw another one. I don't think I grab exposure, so. I think I want to grab trample. Accelerate for some effect. What effect does he want? Oh, makes sense. from the top. Consequential barriers, that's something I would like to have. There's one to the... Yep. I'm going to step away from the stream for just a minute here. I'll be right back.
my spot. Activate 12? I think I did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm just not used to playing decks that don't have walk and I always count my force wrong. This is another one where I don't know how to go back and fix that. That's too many things. Unfortunately, we'll have to play a slightly tainted game. Oh, no escape for exposure. That's brutal. Maybe I did want to grab exposure. Oh, man, that's so good. That is so good. My neighbor and Luke here. And under attack. I think I have to go for it. Oh man, I could also. If I had stayed 3 PO. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking. Well, this is what I was thinking. If I have 3 PO now before retrieving the 7, that makes the 7 closer to the top. But I should have just waited then 3 PO to the 7. How do I do this? Alright, so during his turn, I want to... Let's get Run Luke Run back. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's actually probably not that good here. Clash of Sabres is useless. Activate 14, 15, yeah, I could have exactly gotten it there. Okay. So how to do this? Do I have to go for it now? Not really yet, huh? I could wait until I have the share thing in terms of destiny. But the thing is, sense really screws me over, huh? If he has a sense, he can sense either my neighbor or my outer attack, and I'll have done nothing. Alright, so let's start out by doing one damage here. I guess I should 3PO now as well. I don't think that helps me at all. It does give me this sight, but again, that's not helpful. So next turn, I know I can neighbor on under attack with the, uh, at least as far as the destiny goes. I feel like he's trying to bait me into under attacking right now. Or now maybe he just doesn't have a barrier and wants to put a second thing. But why would he keep Vader on the Imperial Walker as opposed to Tempest One? Maybe because if I draw a five, he'd rather forfeit a Walker than Vader. Yeah, that's probably why. 
right? He'd rather keep Vader around. So if I draw a 5 and Vader's temp piloting Tempest 1, he'd have to forfeit Vader. He, but if I draw a 5 and he's forfeiting Imperial Walker, he can forfeit Tempest 1. Okay, so that explains it. So maybe he's not trying to bait me into the under attack. On the other hand, I could just wait a turn. What does he do if I wait a turn? Oh, I could add Ben, but Ben does nothing for me. Ben just gets exposure to all. I can't go two characters at a time to Hoth. So I need a five or better for the under attack to work. No, a four or better. Oh, I put a lot of good destinies back. Oh boy. What do I do here? Do I go for it? Alright, so what happens? So if he's. So he, does he have a force? Yeah, he has force to grab my neighbor. So, if he nears, if he senses, so if I miss the under attack, I can still battle. It's not a particularly great battle. I could play Ben in battle. No, I can't play Ben to... I would have to play Ben, then Nabron, but that means I couldn't under attack. It's not a particularly terrible battle either though. He's got 6, 10, 13, 14 to my 10. We'd get Destiny of Power. I'll probably bet lose by a few, and then he exposures. And he probably has one more exposure. If I wait, he adds more stuff. Possibly to the third marker. He has a higher chance of having sense because he'll draw more. Uh, yeah, whatever, neighbor. He grabs. And he senses. And he misses! Ooh. That's extremely lucky for me. If he doesn't sense again, I can under attack. So actually, this is pretty good for me, even if I miss the under attack, because he presumably won't sense the under attack and won't be able to grab it. So I can just three PO back in. Or maybe he lets the neighbor go through and senses the under attack because he wants the sense to be in lost pile. That's interesting. That would indicate to me that I'd want to pull wise advice. If he lets this go, I think I pull wise advice, but I might not play wise advice. I usually don't play both of the sack shields, but this would be a time when I would like to have them both. Let's see. No, I do not have both the shields. I really am in favor of the of a defensive shield that lets you play any number of different or of a starting effect that lets you deploy any number of defensive shield or start the game with any number of defensive shields below it. 
when you're limited to 15, it limits your in-game decisions. And, for instance, maybe I want to play the Wise Advice Shield here. Right, you've got the hard limit of 4 plus whatever shield pullers. That adequately... That adequately deals with the issue of a player being able to deploy too many shields at one time. So he has a second sense. Okay. This time it's sensed. Okay. So now how do I break through this wall of the exposure in his hand? I think I need to... Yeah, how I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to play this under attack. I need to get my second neighbor. And all right, so let's see. Let's just drain a couple times, and then draw. Have I three PO jet this turn? Yes, I have. That's right. So let's just drain. Wait, does decree? Yeah, Decree V should really not stop do or do not damage. Right, yeah. But it does. Alright, and now I guess let's just draw a few. Two or three. What do I want to grab? Trample? Probably. Yeah, I think I need cards in my hand right now, so. I want Neighborin, I want some other characters. Other than Luke. Alright, so the seven is nine from the top. Alright, let's go ahead and three PO away. Sorry about the mess. that and another one from hand. Yeah, let's lose Ben from hand. Probably not going to want to 3PO that back. Let's lose the last rest from reserve. Oh, did not want to lose that card. Do I have a way to retrieve it? No. That's unfortunate. Okay. Nobody's journal. Fine, I'm losing that card. Okay, so no neighboring. So I just have like Mason Qui Gon, Chewy, but doesn't draw Destiny on his own. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, just in case I have some space. He knows he has this locked off. He's just playing for the one or two ways he can possibly lose. No, oh, I see. He just wants to save everyone for the four foot fodder. Hmm. 
Patrick Donnell. Yeah, I can see the chat. Steve can, but I'm trusting him not to look. I think that's not an unreasonable assumption. <laughs> I I have literally no idea what I can do in this game right now. I need to find Mace. I mean, even if I smoke screen, he just forfeits Vader. Then he exposures me. I need a second character that can stick around under attack. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh, wait, if Luke somehow gets into a battle, I can get the neighbor back. But how is Luke going to get into a battle? Six, seven. So this should be the seven right now. No, like this should be six because it was nine. I three PO'd eight, lost two, six. So six from the top, so it should be the seven. So this card should be it. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm activating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I use eight, so it will be the eighth bottom card of my used pile. All right. So let's see, I need to find Mace using Chewie, maybe? So let's see, if I drain once, play Chewie, that'll be five cards in use pile. And I'll have enough to play Mace battle. Smoke screen? Probably need the smoke screen. Then exposures. Then... I don't, I'm not sure what I'd do. Alright, so let's start by... Yeah, then I'll have to have something else. Oh, if I still have the AJR... Oh, I have the AJR. So I can AJR Mace when he died. Wait, I could have AJR Mace when he died of exposure the first time. I should have done that. That would have been a good play. Yeah. Alright, so two things that I need to change about the way I play this when I play this next. Well, this is conditional, but I need to grab exposure. I can't let him get a second cut, but I have no escape. Alright, so let's drain one here. So he loses Walker Garrison. So Chewie deploys minus three Leia. One, two. Need to get something good from the use pile here. Anakin? I mean, I gotta do something, right? <sighs> so if I play Anakin, maybe I play R2 and he doesn't trample. And draws low. It seems like I'd probably be better off... There's no way Anakin survives. Right? He's got power of 9, you know, 4, 7, 8, 14, 16, 17, plus 2 destinies to my 5, 6, and 1. So Anakin won't survive. If I play R2D2, yeah, so basically Anakin trades for character there, which I guess is the best I can do, or maybe I do. I get draw their fire and hope to do better next turn. Because I'm not winning this sandwich race. How do I do this? What if I just set up the drain? No, I'm still out dam being out damaged if I go to the bridge. Okay, let's see. Other options. What are my other options? I can't think of anything that I'm it's better than this line of play, bad as it is. Does this even give me a chance to win? Do I just draw? I don't think this play gives me a chance to win. Would I rather have draw their fire? Maybe? But who's initiating a battle then? 
So this is a matchup where Ben Kenobi is really bad. This is the best I can do. Hopefully I don't get overflowed too much. Anakin chips off something, I draw some more cards. Maybe that makes the mace play better. Let's just assume I get everything. Alright, let's just do Anakin here. Wait, should I drain another? No, I need more cards in my deck. Do I play R2? No. He does nothing for me. So let's just initiate battle. Or no. So I need him to draw low, which he can't really with target. So 6, 8, 12, 15, 16, 2 destiny, 2 my 5, and a destiny plus 1. 30. So like I'm projected to be losing force here. But I mean, I don't have a better play. So this is the play that I'm taking. He adds, I pass. Battle Destiny, I draw the Power Destiny first, it's a one. That's a four, or five, so five, six. Push. Oh, they're all high. All three. Wait, I think it's safe to concede at this point. Let's let them total up the power, but I cover for a total of 19, so anything above 19 I'd have to lose that amount. It looks to me like he's got 30, so I'd have to lose 11. No, 1631. Yeah, so I'd have to lose 12. So I'm going to concede. I can't believe I forgot the AJR mace. I don't know. That probably wouldn't have been the difference maker, but it could have been big. I don't think he had much developed there. I mean, he had Vader, so Smokescreen is not as good. But, yeah. Alright, we're going to play a second game in just a minute. So I lost that one. We're just going back to the lobby in order to um, record the winner of the loss. My loss seems not to have registered. Since I've decided to do the rated games again, I've gone 0-2. Maven's whispering me, so I'm not going to read that because I don't know if it's... It, I, he said something about boxer briefs, so I'm assuming it's not private. But you never know, I guess. Alright, we're playing another raid of games, switching the sides. I'm gonna go with the Agents of Black Sun deck. They actually both have programmed trap in them now. So it looks like he's playing both of his NPC decks, I assume. 
So it's a good thing I didn't end up playing the prophet, huh? Yes, that damn PC. He slaughtered me just now. I think I can turn that on, but this tough exposure is a brutal card. Are you shuffling my deck here? And just lagging? Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see. That's the uplink station. Alright, I don't have any way to get. So which Vigo is this? This is Vigo non V. Alright, I hope I don't activate Vigo V here, because I took out one Vigo V. I had been playing two, now I'm playing one. Alright, so at least I have Gary in my hand, so... I could miss and defy Yodo. Let's see, activate one, two, three, four, six. I definitely play this. Let's see here. Now the question is, do I first turn flip against this jack? I want to, but I don't want Shizar to get hit. Well, I've got a second Shizar, so I think I do. Which... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Vigo V is in there. As is Shizar's palace. Okay. What about any kind of, so two ceasefires in there, two barriers, not a ton of things, okay. I feel like he probably doesn't attack Caesar first turn though. So, I should be pretty safe to do this. The bridge is in reserve, as are our two, we must accelerate our plans. So let's see. No escape appears to be the only immune to alter. I think it's the only immune to alter effect in my deck. So yeah, alright, let's just do this. So that Vigo pulls this one. Question is, do I add the second Vigo? I think I don't, because it's four plus two already, yeah. Second Vigo doesn't do anything for me right this second. It actually might be deployed for free on Coruscant. So I believe that means it does not deploy for free to a Coruscant ship. Let's see, let's move these guys over, flip, and I think don't look at my force file or do. Because I want to look at my force file next turn. Is it worth losing one card, or putting a card used to look at the three cards in here right now? Then what am I going to do next turn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so I'll have 15 exit force if I do nothing right now. That's pretty reasonable in terms of... So this is for 6 of the throne room. Or do I even try to... Hmm, interesting. I don't know. I think... Yeah, I think I don't do anything here. Next turn I'll use one Emperor to peek at my force and see what I'm going to do. And it's possible that I don't try to stack the throne room to make him, or to stop him from flipping. I think I don't have Imperial Decree in this deck though, so I think, yeah, I need to contest the Throne Room. I can't win a Drain Race with WAP without Imperial Decree. So, I think it's, well, is it better to contest the Throne Room first? 
before he flumps. I mean, so if I can test it first, that lets him attack me. If I can test it second, that lets him cancel my battle destinies because he's flipped and lets him go in when he's ready. I guess it probably depends on what my force will look like. Why did he do it like that? So he activated five and then we'll take the long way? What's the advantage of doing that? He must have Naboo already in his opening hand. Let's pull grab our shield, of course. Unless maybe he's planning to go to Coruscant, but he probably doesn't have a spy ship, does he? Do you have a spy ship? I don't think so. I don't think there's an episode one spy ship. Maybe he's waiting for me to go to Coruscant and then I'll go there? Huh. I'm not actually sure what his game plan is here. One of the good things in this match is I'm going to be on the seven side as long as Shizor is alive. Because he can't play Luke. The bad thing is that I won't be doing any objective damage. That's not a huge issue, I don't think. Activate 12. He's going to pull battle plan, yeah. Okay, ceasefire and hidden weapons were two guys I wanted to see. And I'm glad that they're somewhat near the bottom. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Uh, so I can't, let's see. How much force can I spend and still get ceasefire in my hand? Or, oh, I could set up a sick program, yes. Yes. Program Trap is the play, right? It has to be. That's so sick. He moves everybody into the throne room and I just Program Trap the entire room. Alright, what happens So f when he flips? Okay, so I never control... Oh, wait, no. Because it's competing... Oh my god. Right? Program Trap, it's competing automatic action. So I get to make him lose all of his guys first before I lose my guy? So I flip him back too? Does it work that way? That's too sick. So, yeah. Okay. So do I just drain and then draw the rest of my force? I think so. I actually kind of want those three cards too. Maybe I just draw all of these cards. Is it worth spending three to drain one in this circumstance? Or maybe I should be deploying a droid and someone now. I think Probot is the call here.
Yeah, yeah, okay. I kind of want... Yeah, all right, so let's peek at the top card of reserve. It's Force Lightning. It's Press Shuffle of Violet. Yeah. Wow, it's so sick. Over flips, add some characters, okay. They're all gonna die to the program chat. Except you can cancel my destiny. Wait. No, program trap happens before you can even cancel the destiny. It's an optional response as opposed to an automatic response. Oh, oh baby. Oh, this is going to be so sick if I pull this off. Oh, this is going to be so sick. To be grim dash with me, that's that kind of, of scares me. Alright, so now I need a four to be on top, but I don't know how to get a four on top right here. Activate 13. So right now I want a 4 on top. And I can get, so I, alright, so I can put a 5 used, a 4 used. Alright, so let's see, I could put either of these things used as a used interrupt. So should I drain first? Let's see. I activate 13, I have 14 in reserve. But I can lose two cards to that. Alright, so I'm probably not going to want. Is there cards that I want? I don't think so. Hmm. I think I just used those two as used interrupts. So I could have a 5 or a 4 or a 6. 
yeah, let's do it so let's set up so I can have a four or five or a six available to me. So I use the Emperor for that. Alright, so let's go ahead drain one. And then let's use one to master move. Okay, yeah. So five, six, four. Get the gick. Okay. So it's now 13 from the top. It's going to be a combination of cards. Now let's peek with Emperor. Emperor or switch off? No, I'd rather have a switch off. Don't want any of those cards. Not right now, at least. Maybe you should try to. Get IG. As well as Pro Bot. That would give me 24 next turn. That's probably enough. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Of course, if he best shuffles me here. So 13 from the top is 465. And I can activate 13. from hand. And with surface defense. Alright, let's lose surface defense. And do I want to lose anything else from hand? Second she's are no, don't want to lose that. I don't think this is a game I really need to kick, so let's just lose that. And then lose the curry if he drains. No, let's lose the curry. Yeah, let's lose the curry. And then gick if he drains again. And I can retrieve gick with first strike worst case scenario.
course, what if it plays three characters there? That blows up my program trap. I don't have a seven in my deck. But I could hit him weapons first. Four fives. So is it what was it? It's four six five. So I need to hit him weapons one guy away. Now I need to IG one uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. I got Jin there, okay. Jurassic there, so now there's five, so I need to activate to the six, unless he gets the sixth. Oh, I needed to lose from reserve. If he had only played one character and I hadn't lost another one from reserve, I could have screwed myself just there. No, I could have ceased fire to lose additional cards from my reserve. Okay. So now this is going to be the six. So this is going to be pretty good. So I can activate the full amount. Right, 13. I've got the 6 on top. So, let's see. Do I want to look at my force power right now? I probably do. What do I want to get rid of? Nothing really. I mean, I don't feel like drawing more cards. Is there a card here that I don't want in my hand? Not really. Should I play Gary to protect Shizor? I think I probably should. No, I've got Barrier and Ceasefire. Two copies of hidden weapons, but that's kind of fine, I think. I don't really know where everything is. Two copies of Boba Fett Bounty Hunter, that might be excessive. Yeah, let's set that down. Let's just minimize that. I don't think I'm going to want to draw anything this turn, but maybe I want to draw one or two. So that's three, one, two, three, four, battle, or one, two, battle, get that. Maybe I want to draw my separate stun. And so I could draw two cards. So three, seven, eight. 9 for the retrieval, 10, 11 for program trap, draw 1. Okay, that's not bad. Now what if he alters this program trap? I'd be kind of screwed. I don't think I have anything for that. I mean, I've got the control, but that's not in my hand. Star controls. Draw 
robot. Oh, I was counting it as two for that. It's a program trap. So I'm going to need to draw two cards. strike as well. Let's order my card somewhat. My computer lags so hard because of the streaming software. He's got aim high. Retrieve the curry.
program trap is really really dumb if it works the way we think it works. We might be taking a 15 minute break here for lunch. Um, in which case, if you're watching this on a recording, well, I don't know if we're actually taking the 15 minute break, but um, you might not want to skip forward until something moves. If not, I'll uh, try to talk about things. So yeah, program trap. Let's, let's talk about program trap. Um, apparently the ruling is that <laughs> As if you draw it in a battle destiny, you're still you're in. This is the power segment of the battle, so the battle doesn't end. Actually, it just keeps going with no characters there. All right, so he's going to be taking the 15 minute break for lunch. So viewers of the YouTube video, I don't know how to pause these things and restart them. I think it'll just start a whole new broadcast if I do that. And, um, I mean, maybe I can do that, but maybe I should do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, the sense this broadcast, uh, the next one will be, uh, part two.